Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic product review just for you. These products came all the way from Japan. I bought these two things the last time I was there. Paul sent me these two things. Paul from Critically East Japan, thank you very much. Uh, the link will be in the description below if you want to sign up to his Patreon and get things like this every once in a while. So give him a shot, that would be fantastic. Today we're going to be doing two noodle dishes. Uh, these are Pringles. This is yakisoba. And these are ramen noodles. Uh, what I learned last time I was in Japan is when it's in a round container like this, it's a soup. When it's in a square container like this, it's a noodle dish, so you strain out the water. Let's get right into it, shall we? We'll get our chopstick pierced through that. Get these things open. It takes about three minutes. I've just boiled the water. Beautiful container. Looks like it's plastic. I thought it was going to be um, like styrofoam. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one looks like it's a styrofoam. I guess we'll pour water in both of them and get them ready. Uh, so it says to fold it past this line. I did see a review of this by Emmy Made in Japan. Hey, Emmy. And uh, she accidentally put this stuff in here, then poured the water in, whereas you're supposed to put the stuff on after it sat. So I just want to make sure nothing else is in there. I think it's only two packages. Oh, uh, well, yeah, the other two things. This is like a a better Calpis, C-A-L-P-I-S uh, drink. It's like a milk beverage. And this is uh, Pepsi Pineapple. We'll be drinking those with our stuff. Let's get this ready to go. Pour your water in, there's a little line trying to show you guys at the same time. Let me back that up a bit. So we will be straining this water out and there's a line that you're supposed to pour up to and that will start to activate the noodles. Now let's fold that back down. That's good to go. Let's push this off to the side for a second. We'll start off the ramen noodles. Again, this is the jalapeno ramen noodles. And again, I think in this situation, since we're not gonna be straining it, uh, we can put all this stuff in. Looks like we got a little package of flavoring. Another package of flavoring. And again, I don't read Japanese, uh, so I don't know what every, anything of the any of these things are. And this is like a bunch of vegetables, dried vegetables. Let's throw those in first. So there's a little tear strip there. Nice. So we'll put those in. We'll get it, let's see, look up, check that out. And we'll put it in the powders. Probably full of sodium. Oh yeah, wow. Oh wow. Wow, it, it really, really smells like you opened up a can of Pringles. It's like a little, it almost looks like brown sugar. It has that same look and consistency. Let's do this one. Actually, I should have done it this way. This could be maybe, let's see what that looks like. Okay. So why there are two different packages, I have no idea. But this one looks more like a maybe the jalapeno stuff because it has like little green flecks and pepper kind of looking. And let's pour that up to the line. Let's just poke it around a little bit. Ooh la la. Gotta poke it. Okay, so that's gonna sit there and rehydrate. While that's doing that, let's open up our Japan Cola, Pepsi, and it's pineapple flavored. Uh, Paul will also write on the side for you what it is, just in case you can't tell. Sometimes you can tell by the picture what it is, sometimes you can't tell. Ooh, here we go. Kampai. Hmm. Yep, that tastes like Pepsi and um, pineapple. I'm always waiting, for, whenever I try something like this, I'm always waiting for that aftertaste that sometimes kind of like irritates your throat. So I'm gonna make sure it doesn't have that. It actually tastes, so it's carbonated. So like I said, it tastes like Pepsi, carbonated Pepsi, but it has that flavor of the pineapple. It doesn't have like that nectar 
texture in your mouth. It just has like, it's almost like somebody did get your Pepsi and grab some pineapple juice and mix them together. Um, that's the kind of textures and flavoring I'm getting. It's definitely like more syrupy than just Pepsi. I'm liking that. I'd buy that again. Next time in Japan, it's quite uh, quite refreshing. Next up is Asahi. Asahi is a very large company in Japan. Does a lot of drinks and beer, beverages. I'm not sure what else they do, uh, but this is a better Calpis than the Calpis that I like when I'm in Japan. It's expensive when you buy it out of a vending machine, but when you go to the supermarket, it's quite cheap. But again, compared to our prices here, it's expensive. So that would be like 300 yen, which would be like, um, wait, would it be 300 yen? Maybe 250 to 300 yen in a vending machine, depending on where the vending machine is. And that's uh, roughly around $3 and change, which is really expensive. Here we go. Come pie. Mmm. Oh. It's more yogurty, this one. Hang on. Mm. So it's, it's like you got your, your low, what's it, what's it called? Yo play yogurt, straight yogurt, nothing else. And then added water to it, like nice cold water and, and kind of thinned it out. It really has that yogurt flavor to it. Whereas the Kelpis doesn't have a yogurt flavor. It, I always say a Kelpis tastes like a, a milky uh, white grape juice. That's how I describe Kelpis. This one tastes much, much, much more like yogurt. And again, if I had a Kalpis and a, this, I'd probably take the Kalpis over this. This is still good, but if I had the choice, I'd pick uh, the Kalpis over this. Let's put those right over there. Let's just see how our soup is doing. It is going. We're gonna wait a little bit on the soup. I think we should try the this thing first. So I brought a bowl. Take that off. And uh, I will strain it. Maybe I'll check it first. Got to check these things. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's at least three minutes. I don't have a counter on my camera that I'm, I can see. But that's at least three minutes. And then you're supposed to pour this out. Again, the instructions are on the side, but they're all in Japanese. So poor Emmy from Japan realized as she was pouring it out, all the um, oils and flavor packages, all that flavor was coming out of it. And that kind of sucked. So here we go. Okay, let's oh, rip the rest, the rest of this off. <laughs> she was pretty disappointed because all the flavors were gone. That's okay, Emmy. You still rock. Okay, let's put on powder number one. Oh, this is the oil. That's why this one's separated. See that? It looks like a vegetable oil. It's like a flavored oil. Can't quite place it. Can't quite place it. I'll put that over there. This will be our powder flavor package. All right, I've been looking forward to this for months. All right, here we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, powder. Little bits of onion, so this is like sour cream and onion, this one. If you can read Japanese, there you go. As my camera, I can't figure out what the hell's going on. All right, let's get our chopsticks ready. Trying to mix this in nice and evenly if possible. I don't, I'd almost want to uh, get another bowl. I know if you're out and about and you just wanted to have this on the go you probably wouldn't have that option but i would say most people eat these at, at home and just eat them right out of this so they can just throw out the container all right guys it looks like it's ready to go i'm hoping that's focusing so you can see the little bits of onion in there let's take a nice big chunk here of noodles oh yeah itidakimasu Mmm. Wow. Super savory. 
Mmm. And that oil is nice on there. I guess the oil is there to help make the noodles not stick together or something. If anybody knows, leave a comment in the comment section below. That's, that is wonderful. It does, it does taste like you ground up um, Pringles, sour cream and onion Pringles and put it onto your noodles with a dash of oil. That's what it does, it does taste like that. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Uh, I, I really want to eat this whole thing in one shot. Oh, it's beautiful. It tastes exactly like sour cream and onion Pringles right from the can in noodle form. Fantastic. Can't wait to finish that off. All right, let's move on to the jalapeno ramen. So that's the yaki soba. I'm not 100%. The, the noodles to me look exactly the same. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, you can really smell the um, the jalapeno coming through. Oh, and there's little bits of uh, red onion or red pepper of some type. Let's grab some of those noodles and then we'll grab some soup flavor. Ooh, check that out. Nice. Oh, it's steaming up my glass. It's still crazy hot. Ooh, nice little, a nice little heat bite. When I, when I first, when I first touched my tongue, I could, I could taste the flavor of the jalapeno. Uh, it's not crazy hot at all, but you can definitely taste that there is some spice in there. Um, let's keep, let's do another big bite. Let's do another big bite here. Get as many noodles as possible. Mmm. Crazy hot. On a cold day, I would definitely uh, pick up one of these. If I lived in Japan, let me know if you can buy these in North America. I have never seen them personally. So let's get some soup. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a nice, spicy soup broth. Oh, yeah. It's tasting like a Mr. Noodles, but with a little kick to it. And I'm getting the onion as well. And going back and forth between these two, I don't know how how much sodium in, in, in is each one of these. I bet it's crazy high. You saw how much powder came out of that. That is a lot of noodle, dude. I can't do it. Can't do it. Mmm. Going from that. Going from that spicy to this. This is very mild. Creamy almost. Uh, taste and flavors, textures. Mm. Let's do some more of these noodles. They're making my nose rhyme. Nice little kick to them. Mm. Lots of flavor, lots of spice, not too spicy. Again, I know people that like spice but don't like when it's too hot, and this isn't too hot. Uh, and, I'm, and I am getting the, the peppers, like the red pepper tastes in here as well. As I continue experiencing these flavors, let's drink right from the bowl. Hmm. It's like a big cup, right? Hmm. These both are amazing. I am so glad that I picked these up when I was in Japan. It took me a long time to get around to doing them. They've been sitting on my shelf forever. And uh, so I'm super, super happy to have tried these finally. Uh, I'd like to thank Paul from Critically East Japan for sending me these two wonderful items as well. It's always nice to try something new like that. All right, guys, it is time to rate these. I'm gonna rate them individually. 
this is a go out and get it now. This is a go out and get it now or order it online, have it delivered to your house if you can do that in your area. I would definitely buy that again in Japan. And this drink here, I would give it a would recommend. Uh, it's something you definitely need to try at least once in your life. Again, it has that really strong uh, yogurt flavor to it and the Kalpis for me, again, is a better drink. One more time, thanks Paul for sending me these two drinks. I'm so glad you did and I'm so glad I got to try them. If you enjoy these videos of me trying things in my house and sharing those with you, please hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you want to see some more, check out this awesome playlist and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.